Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. I'm actually in Hong Kong at the moment. So I, I can see somebody creeping Phil behind me on the camera. Anyway, I'm self-recording this one. Um, we've had loads and loads of questions, especially in the UK, especially in the winter when there's no, no sun, really. Um, wanting to preserve the energy, because obviously inverters have what they call quest and power, a constant power which uses to run the system. And typically most inverters, hybrid inverters around 50 watts. Uh, we're no different because there's a computer on board, there's a LC, there's lots and lots of things going on there. And so at, during the winter time, you're not getting as much sun and you're probably self-using most of it as you're producing it. Um, and so there's some going into the battery, but some days maybe a lot, some days nothing going into the battery. Um, I'm talking particularly where there's not much going into the battery and you come at night time, the battery's very low. You don't want to be wasting energy. You don't want to waste power. And like on a normal, typical grid tie system, it doesn't work. It shuts itself down when there's no sun. Well, we do exactly the same. We have a low power mode. If the battery is low, then the battery will, the system will basically shut itself down into a standby and it will take very little power. And thus you're not wasting energy. Next day when the sun comes up, it will boot itself back up again. And of course, if, if during the summertime, when the weather is much better, much brighter, much more sun, then it will do it. It's fully automatic. So this feature is a really nice feature. Um, if you're using the low power feature, it does cause a delay in the UPS. So it takes about a minute for the UPS to operate um, on, during the low power, but the, the quiescent current crashes to almost nothing. So it's very nice. If you're in countries, if you've got loads of batteries and big inverter, it's, you don't need it. Um, it is really a, f a feature for Northern Europe um, where we've got no sunshine, which is a bit of a problem sometimes. We've got plenty of wind, but not, sun not much sunshine. Um, so I've produced a, a, a few videos to explain about how it works and some installation documents. Please have a look at it. There's, there's a few versions of the software changing. The software is going up online now onto the portal. Um, so you can download it and you can pre-program it yourself if you want to use this feature. It's a great feature. It will save you a lot of energy if, you, if as I say, if your battery is not reaching peak charge during the winter months. And again, as I say, during the summer, it makes no difference really because summer you've got bucket loads of power. And even if you've got a three kilowatt hour array, um, the summer you may get 10 kilowatt hours more. Um, but during the winter period, you may only get one and a half kilowatts. So it's really, really poor. And that's based on a three kilowatt array. Obviously a bigger array will produce much more power. So yeah, please, uh, please watch the videos if you're interested in setting. Um, there's some new software. There's other things going on on the inverters. There's other changes going on. But have a look at that. And uh, your, installer can, your installer can update it. Um, not a problem. Um, it's not a mandatory update. It's just a, power, a feature we've added onto it. So if you want to use the feature, please feel free. It is an, it's a nice feature. Thanks for following us.